Hey guys, Sean Shot here, back with a brand new video today. We'll be looking at the Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. Uh, it's the official trailer that dropped for the DC fandom late uh, a couple days ago, like two, three days ago. Uh, I've got, I have not gotten a chance to look at it, so let's hop right into it. Uh, first scene, we can see we're in the Timisker training grounds or stadium or whatever. I forgot what it was. Because uh, I remember this, we would, uh, you see this in the first movie. Okay, so like obviously cuts to her in more modern times. This world is not yet ready for all that you. Oh, so it's young Diana. So it seems like it's cutting in, in between young Diana and old Diana. Oh, Beginning at least, kind of like that. Gives us little flashbacks. And I also like how it implies that she's as strong as all these other like warriors at that young of an age. The time will come, Diana. Okay, I'm running. She is lassoed. Wait, she lassoed nothing. See, there's nothing there. Is she lassoing her invisible jet? Is the invisible jet confirmed? I, it's not even like a joke. I, it's just like she's grappled nothing. Like it's an invisible jet. Look, yeah, she's like flying away like an invisible jet. Yo, that thing invisible jet's gonna be in here. And everything will be different. Did she just ride a fucking lightning bolt like it's a like a skateboard? That's dope as hell. Dude, it's like she's like swinging on vines with the lightning. Okay, I always like this aesthetic. Sorry, I'm really the aesthetic of uh, like 80s aesthetic to going for, which makes sense given the title. Okay, radar. I'm here to change your life. Yeah, Kristen Stewart's in this. Um, I think she plays Cheetah, if I remember right. Cheetah's the main villain in this movie. And um, Kristen Stewart's such a good actress. I'm, I'm excited to see if they show Cheetah in the trailer or not. We're going to wait for the next one. Anything you dream of, you can have it. So, it's Gal Doas. He's alive. He's Steve. Steve is his name, right? I forgot his last name. Played by Chris Pines. So he's alive again. Somehow. It's fucking DC. They always live. Diana, look at you. It's like now one day has passed. I don't want to be like anyone. I want to be an apex predator. You've always so kind of dancing around the White House. Nothing too special. But right, I've been there. It's really, it's really nice. I've been there before. And I know they shut this down for production because when you're typically there, there's like thousands, not thousands, a decent amount of people at the Lincoln Statue, like all, all times, any time of night, right? And so they definitely close this for production. And like this, this is never as still as you think it is because like kids are like skipping rocks and there's some shit, right? And everything. Well, people like me have had nothing. Also, it's like Kristen Stewart talking about wanting to be a uh, apex predator, which made she's probably gonna be Cheetah. Uh, this looks like a similar scene to when in when the one more film when like they had to go to that like thing in this hallway fight scene. Well, now it's my turn. Like a face off, maybe, but. This is Cheetah in her normal form, right? You know, Cheetah print. She's like knocked down, which maybe she probably knocked her down, maybe. Which takes a lot of effort. Get used to it. Okay. Hopping off like normal. Nothing for yeah. We would have been engaged with uh countries in the Middle East in 1984 because war on oil and war on drugs with the Reagan administration and shit like that. Uh, JFK and just a whole lot of wars going on in the 80s. Let's see Vietnam though. Um, so kind of neat. Showing like that historical aspects behind it like how like really in the 80s. I mean the thing is like he wouldn't this is definitely product placement because there's no way an actual soldier going to war running in a tank would wear 
like neck gear forces like this. So it just wouldn't make sense. So this is definitely product placement, but it's fine, I guess. It's, it's a comic book movie. Uh, I've never been one for rules. The answer is always more. Wait, why does this guy look like? No, oh, sorry. Uh, I've never been one for rules. The answer is always. He looks like the guy in um. Sounds like Norman Osborn in the Diamond Games. More. No way. So I looks like the same airbase as when Steve died, died originally, and he has a brand new jet with like shit on it. So it seems like you know he's hyped. Yeah. Also, I like how they added the aging here because obviously she doesn't age. She's basically immortal, and more she ages very really slowly. Uh, obviously he's human. He's gonna age, and you can see the aging with the gray hair, the gray roots here. Uh, also, they did uh, there's no CG with the hair at all too, so it seems like it's all practical. Uh, my only issue is if they, they do CG. I can't. I don't think it's a CG, but if they did, you can kind of tell different hair styles. But it looks, it looks all practical, so you can kind of tell because different hairstyles look the same hair. But the way I fly, they will never find us. I forgot to tell you. What? Radar. Will they? Will they shoot at us? So fireworks in this time, yeah, would have been celebratory and not used as a weapon. But in China, it possibly could have. What? Radar. So this. Will they? Will they shoot at us? So there's two theories I have here. They're in rather in China. They still I forgot in the eighties they still if they still used fireworks as weapon weaponry. Uh, it's possible in certain circumstances during especially during the Cold War. Um, or the probably landing America or some shit like that. So it seems like there's gonna be a fight in DC, so it's gonna be placed around mostly a DC area. You know, we see protesters, you know, freedom. Uh, but I wish I could read that sign. Probably a little detail there I'm missing. Oh, is yeah. It seems like the only thing is you have. So it seems like over here is gonna be the main thing, because we see most. Okay, like I guess we see people running away. So it seems like something over there. So the thing is over there. That's like you know, statues over here. I don't know what's over there. I think Smithsonian is. So probably something at the Smithsonian tapping down. Oh, so that's this full she's this full cheetah there. Right? Yeah, that's full cheetah. Right. We can see the fur. Human eyes fur, we can see tail. The hair is different now, the hair has changed. And we see the typical marks that Cheetah has. So we can see her uh, nails, so definitely longer. Her, uh, she's using more of a, like, very much faster, it seems, from the early part of the trailers. And she, she definitely got a buffer around the thighs and calf areas, and which uh, you would expect from a uh, cheetah. Because it requires that much speed. Oh, that's probably a better frame to analyze it. You can see kind of like the lighting, you know, freezing her hair, freezing up. Uh, nothing more of a furry texture than a normal human. Oh god, sorry, bros. I'm trying to get this frame. Oh. There we go. So you can kind of see Christian Stewart's face. Kind of, uh, but this might be uh, Cheetah. Cheetah's a technically a god, right? Like part god, if I remember right, their origin story. And so she's like a perfect counter to Wonder Woman. Barbara, what did you do? Oh, that's her in a Valkyrie costume. I think it's like the dopest costume for 
Wonder Woman. Like, look how cool that looks. The wings, the helmet. Uh, it's such a cool costume. I think Doctor's costume is underrated. Yeah. Just straight up murking her. No, we're just having a cool shot. Oh, just going no wings. This is such a cool look for Wonder Woman. I love it. Got the lasso. It's I don't know. That's such a cool look. Four. Obviously, placing that's an eighty-four. Not so keen on this one. I figure uh, you are, but you know what? I'm ready to go. I think we can do better. Parachute man? Yeah. Um, does, it, does everybody parachute now? Obviously, saves still suck when I. Uh, World War One or two? I forgot what's the first one. Was. I think World War Two because we're fighting Nazis, right? Yeah, it's cool. So we see. I want to see the. Uh, who was the VFX on this? I think a Stone Quarry would have been VFX, right? Because Atlas, no, Atlas is VFX. Atlas VFX. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. It's really good at VFX. Uh, so you can expect good VFX from this. We saw it throughout the trailer as well. Like this is really good. Good ray tracing, not ray tracing, uh, tracking, stuff like that. So, hopefully, cool effects. And we also see here, um, no, it's during the Washington Monument scene. Uh, typically, it's actually there that is on the Washington Monument, if I remember right, because, uh, you know, there's like a lookout window there and there's lights in there. Let me see, go out. Yep. All right. There, yeah. No. Oh, so, how would I rate this trailer? I'd probably give it like a eight and a half out of ten. It could have done more. It could have showed us more. It could have been a little better in certain areas, but I overall it was pretty good, pretty enjoyable. I had fun with it. Guess you excited for the movie? Uh, did they give it a release date? No. The. Now, see, I don't think they get release date, right? No. Okay, so it doesn't seem to get release date, but I'll still give it like a 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. Pretty good trailer, gets you excited for the movie. Uh, calls back to earlier movies, kind of gives you a somewhat of a hint of the plot, uh, but not too much. Obviously, you know the villain, but that's any trailer, so 8.5 out of 10, I would say. Pretty solid trailer. Could have been a little more to get that to that nine and a half, ten area, but I liked it. So that's all. Peace.